Hey, welcome to Cryptopia. So I'm here with the team from Acno Ledger, and we're going to be talking about their project and why we should invest. Uh, so I don't know if you guys want to introduce yourself and maybe just tell me a little bit about the uh, benefits of holding the Acno Ledger token and uh, what are some of the benefits for long-term holders. Awesome. Okay. Thanks. Uh, thanks a lot, John, for inviting us to your channel. Really appreciate it and lots of uh, gratitude and love to you and your community. So thanks a lot. Uh, and so my name is Yash Dankar. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Acno Ledger. And I've been in the space since 2016. I'm a serial entrepreneur. I'm also advisor to a lot of uh, other uh, uh, Web2 and Web3 startups and been in the space for a very long time. So I understand uh, uh, like uh, what, what are the dynamics, how the space moves and what is the need for the future. And I'm a firm believer that, uh, you know, you know, instead of predicting the trend, uh, we, we should create a trend. Okay, so this is what uh, I personally believe. And uh, similarly, my uh, co-founder Kuntal is also here. Kuntal, uh, you can quickly introduce, yeah. Surely, thank you, John, for hosting us. Well, I'm Kuntal Ganguly. I'm also one of the co-founder of Acnowledger. I particularly take care for the strategies of Acnowledger. And we want to assure uh, the community uh, who is with us today that what we are building is going to be the next big thing and it is the need of the over when we talk about uh, digital assets altogether so thank you john i hope uh, you know you would be uh, quite uh, happy post over this interview maybe we could answer a few questions of yours as well so that uh, you know uh, we could uh, give some idea uh, about what is acknowledged and what we are having our future plans though uh, with respect to you so uh, thank you for thank you so us. much well, thank you guys for being here. It's a real pleasure having you guys. I've been a fan of Hacking the Ledger for some time. I've uh, been a long-term holder, and I, I really like what you guys are doing in the space. So I, I thank you for coming on to our show and uh, you know, giving our viewers the chance to kind of get some insight as to what you guys are doing. So thank you very much. Um, so let's dig into it. I guess you know, one of my uh, first questions would be, you know, as I know that your ecosystem, you know, right now you're working with over 150 companies and over 100 different metaverses. Um, you know, how do you kind of see leveraging this to the benefit of like token holders in the future and things like that? Yeah, so I think uh, a really interesting question. Uh, we have been uh, growing our ecosystem since the day one of our launch and constantly working to improve how we can partner and collaborate with other projects. And this has been our one of the strength also in terms of uh, the ecosystem and partnership because we believe, we strongly believe that in order to make it big or win, you need to work with everyone and work in a collaborative way. So we are not competing with anyone, first of all. We will never compete because we have our own unique structure and we strongly believe in a collaborative approach. Okay, so this has been our philosophy since the day one. And to stand out and create value for everyone in the ecosystem. So this has been our uh, core strength and philosophy and the value system that we have created. And uh, you can see the numbers we have been growing uh, even right now. Uh, it's a little bit slow, but uh, we have been growing steadily, consistently over the period. And uh, these partnerships are not just, you know, for the namesake. We are already actually, uh, we, we have created our search engine and we have started integration, mm -hmm. tech integration with a lot of companies out there. Majority of the metaverses are yet to launch their product or their assets. So once, you know, they go live, we immediately, you know, partner with them and map their assets on our search engine. So, uh, and we are coming up with something really, really interesting and cool, which we will talk uh, uh, in this uh, discussion. But yeah, so that has been our... Uh, uh, core foundation and this ecosystem uh, this is right now so standing at 150 we want to grow it to 1000 2000 and as many companies as possible in uh, next uh, coming uh, coming years yeah kuntal you want to add anything yeah yes yeah, certainly uh, see uh, the numbers is growing on a quite good pace right moment of time so we are uh, in a business where we are bringing businesses and consumers under a single platform so the consumers are important as well as the business or the ecosystem partner companies are pretty important. Mm -hmm. As you see that uh, there is going to be a lot of digital assets that has been flowing across this globe. This partner ecosystem will support that. So hence, the bigger the partner ecosystem, the more growth trajectory we will be following. So initially, 
you know, if you see that the numbers are 150, 200, we are trying to tap all those partner companies who can collaborate with our platform and bring their digital assets and in turn use our APIs and offerings and our tools that could be integrated into their system. Those turning out are revenues for our platform, which is very important. So for any business, yes. you know, the companies or the clients are pretty important and the consumers are pretty important. So we are bridging those gaps around. So that's a straight way answer to that. Yeah. Amazing. No, that's very clear. Um, what I so I, I guess my that would kind of bring me to my next question. I mean, what are some of the benefits of holding the uh, Acme Ledger token? And what are some of the you know be benefits for like long term holders? You know, as far as you know, is there what what how does that kind of work? How do I, what's the benefit? How does the Acme uh, Ledger uh, yeah. token work? And, and how do people get rewards from that? Yes, absolutely. So you know, one one really good thing I love about tokens is you know it gives us the uh, you know, uh, ability to become part of the next big thing. Like, you know, if you, if you, if you knew Google or Amazon in the early days, you could never invest in them. Okay. So same way, uh, you know, these tokens, we, you know, like Bitcoin, Ethereum, those who were early investors or, you know, even they were able to like, you have hundred dollars, you're still able to become part of that big story or, you know, that, uh, a company, which, yeah. which was earlier, not able to, uh, not possible. So we are on the same trajectory where we are building something really big and that it allows the token holders to become part of our journey, you know, to make their own journey. Like, you know, because it's not just our journey, it's all the whole community, every single guy, even if you hold like one ACK tokens, you, you are part of Acknowledger. Okay. So, uh, yeah. and you are the owner of Acknowledger eventually. Uh, and our goal is to map every single asset out there across the web three and the metaverses. So it will give the tremendous strength for every person to also participate and vote in future how the direction of the uh, the search or the product and how the assets are getting uh, involved in this metaverses. So even today, one really interesting thing is even today, Decentraland and Sandbox doesn't have a search functionality for their lands. Like you have to literally go on the map and like see the coordinates. And if you own the land, it will be really difficult to locate on the... That's a big pain point, okay? Because... Yeah. Creating that infrastructure is it requires cost. Uh, it's expensive. It infra, it requires different talent. Okay, and we we are solving that yeah. problem. And by becoming the part of you know buying the token, you get that early advantage. Second, in terms of uh, you know, uh, this is one really important aspect. Second is acknowledger. As you can see, we already have a very big ecosystem. So what we will also planning to do is we'll try to uh, we'll be creating a lot of use cases in those metaverses and in our product where you the holders will have leverage over the platform and also uh, certain use cases that will be creating. So it will be a own economy altogether. The holders will be ha will have that ability to, uh, you know, use the tokens and uh, that uh, gotcha. really good token utility. Yes. Well, Perfect. I would like to no, add no. one more thing over here. So I know John has seen his videos. So probably he's much more from the trader's background. So as a retail investor or as a, or as a consumer or an investor to tokens, this is a very speculative part to understand that the token prices might hit all-time high and might hit all-time low. So token derives its value from basically two principles. One is the utility, which Yash has already spoken about. Second thing is that token prices derives values from its own cycle. Even BTC is not stable. So today when we are talking about the prices, I understand that, you know, John is from the crypto trading backgrounds and there would be a lot of consumers who would be trading acknowledges tokens. One upon a time when the tokens were launched, there was a lot of speculative hype. You know, we were quite, uh, you know, amazed to see the earlier uh, growth of tokens. And now we are equally disappointed along with the community members that the token prices are going down. But believe me, it is beyond our control that we can control or speculate this prices. Well, what I could say is that when the prices are low, it gives an opportunity for the investors or fund houses to enter to a project which they trust upon. Even if you yeah. see the BTC at the earlier days were quite low and giving you a classical example,
today the biggest layer two solutions which i have personally invested in matic during those times i have been into this space since 2016 i myself have been investors in two various web3 projects and in fact i was an early investor of matic tokens as well it was very painful to see that the matic was very much undervalued but the person who believed the project and are holding yes. these tokens are being equally rewarded so from the utility yeah. perspective to the speculative perfect perspective you know we are there to stay and believe us none of the token holders would be disappointed at the given prices which is been offered right moment of time it's Over it's a years great years. opportunity it's a great opportunity right now so that's exactly what it is so i i totally agree dollar cost average and uh, and ride the wave back up so that's uh, you know so you're we're investing in the Before project uh, the product the team and uh, you know, I think you know when the next bull cycle comes, that's when we're really going to see it take off. And and everybody that believes what you guys believe uh, will definitely reap the benefits. I, I totally agree. Certain, certain. Yes. Yeah. Could you guys maybe give me a little bit of insight as to what some of your future plans are? What what does your roadmap look like for 2023, 2024? Like you know, where do you guys kind of see yourselves going uh, before the next uh, big bull run? Yes, yes, certainly. We'll take this, uh, Yash, because, uh, you know, we recently launched our uh, roadmap for 2023. See, I would probably like to say that uh, developing a project or developing a product is a little bit cumbersome when you are building a project. There are certain protocols and there are certain technologies which doesn't exist. We are the earlier ones who are depicting that technology. But stated that earlier, we were having a uh, search engine in place which was not correlating with the common masses today if you try to understand the basic problem which we are going to solve is that there is lots of digital assets which has been flowing in this ecosystem <clears throat> and none other platform can simplify those digital assets and help the consumers to take informed decisions we are bringing these assets in a form where users can discover so that is the reason we changed our product from acknowledger to Doda so that Doda's offerings can correlate with each and every consumers. The full form of Doda stands for discovery of digital assets, which we are going to deploy pretty soon. We are coming up with a simplified web UIX where the surfing of those digital assets would be pretty easy for the consumer. Now, last year, we have done a remarkable job to bring all the ecosystem partners together so that they can consume our API services and platform. This year, it is the time where we would like to execute the same. So going forward, the roadmap as it's concerning is that we will be deploying the Doda's platform that could be utilized by the consumers. And post that, once we see a high traffic volume, we will be start. We would be starting our build mechanism on the monetization layer. When we say about monetization layer, it is all those activities which you can do from the digital assets. So whether it is a DeFi lending, or you want to fractionalize your NFTs, or you want to you know stake your NFTs, or even if you want, you can keep your NFTs or you can keep your NFT related uh, you know searches in a consolidated wallet at profile. So all this, uh, you know, uh, facility would be provided to our consumers. Apart from that, we are also coming up with much more, uh, you know, USP features, which would be available in our platform. Maybe Yesh would probably like to talk more about it, about the Metaverse calendar or something which we have been coming up with. Yeah, yeah. So Very I cool. think, uh, yeah, I, I want to add to this answer. Uh, yeah, the goal always has been to be the leader and map every single asset that is there like in i'll give one really interesting like a simple analogy to understand what acknowledger is doing in a layman's language so what we did in web 2 is basically digitize all the data from physical world to the digital world like basically it was all about data like whether you have a physical document we convert it into a digital log the we are doing a video call it's yeah. you know sharing the data online it's all about you whether you're watching a video on youtube you are basically nothing but consuming the data uploading the data, it's all data. But yeah. going forward, Web3 is all about digital asset, digitizing the uh, tokens, okay, Dig digitizing the assets in a two forms, like either token or NFTs, you know, token can, or uh, those digital asset can be categorized in two, uh, <coughs> two ways. First is the tokens, which is like Bitcoin, Ethereum, all the, you know, uh, uh, the currencies. And the second is the NFT assets. There are only two categories as of now, maybe in future, we'll see more categories coming up or subcategories of this asset class. 
so what will happen is this this web3 this digitization will eat the world and what we want to do is we want to map every single asset that is out there over our uh, dodas platform which is discovery of digital asset and dodas is easy to remember easy to call dodas you know acknowledger <laughs> kind of a lot of people they make mistake while calling so we wanted to simplify things so that's why dodas and uh, dodas will be the future uh, of the uh, the web3 digital asset discovery and already we have mapped 1.5 million uh, nft assets uh, on dodas wow. with around 150 175 plus projects uh, uh, on on the system which is like a really big deal we have not announced yeah. it publicly but uh, on this interview we are sharing this and uh, along with that this will be just one part of the product of the dodas second is what we are also including is metaverse calendar and the nft calendar where like for example if you are on our platform you are part of a community you will come and discover assets along with that you will also see what's happening across the projects like for example if sandbox is launching a new version of their game or you know any other project in the ecosystem is launching something so people will be able to verify the source see what's happening they'll understand what's happening in the ecosystem and then also third part will be the rewards where uh, say if you are a, a nft platform or a game and uh they they want to like you know today they just give away rewards on different places but on we'll, we are consolid- sure. consolidating this so that the user doesn't have to go anywhere they if you are a metaverse or a game uh, game user can stick to acknowledge pla- the dodas platform and uh, you will you will be able to receive rewards as well so we want to help our user to make money as well in future uh, not just like you know uh, go do discovery and that yeah so that's the sure. idea and uh, not just in terms of uh, you know monetary value but also they'll be able to actually get a lot of value to understand what's happening in the space and to the different ways uh, and as the ecosystem yes. grows with more companies we are give adding it will become it will have a network effect over the period uh, yeah no that's really cool i i i like that a lot and kind of it's engaging the community as well so i think that's really big so and i and that's one thing i noticed with you guys you have a really good you know it's still a very active community you guys are always you know you're even throughout the down markets you guys are always posting so that's really important that you guys are so engaged and really kind of keeping keeping things moving even in the down market so i i i love that yes the uh, um i so one of the other questions i wanted to ask you guys is what are some of your future plans for exchange listings do you guys have any exchanges that you're thinking about or looking at yeah. for in 2023 or what you know what are your thought process on that yes i think uh, kuntal uh, will be the right person because we'll he, has, uh, he have faced this question a lot of time and we actually wanted to answer this oh so, uh, yeah so john you know a lot of community members and we have been blessed with uh, one community which i am very much fond about is the turkish community which we have they are quite supportive which i have seen in the uh, in the social media channels as well and um, so lots of questions around exchange listing see uh, uh, as a project owner there are certain responsibility which we hold that the tokens which we have been launching should be enough liquid so that there are buying and selling mechanism that should happen in the open and global market so the thing is that as a consumer or as a token holder i might feel that you know if i list on a bigger exchange i would get an exit point and the tokens would form or something like that so mm-hmm. you know it is a strategical decisions because as a company owner we have to manage each and everything we cannot give a short term relief rally to our token holders who wants to exit this acknowledged yeah. holding when they are listed on the exchanges that is going to only impact for the shorter durations of time which is not going to benefit the larger community yes it might be benefited to certain people who just bought the tokens and might be creating a buzz around the tokens listing on a certain centralized exchanges would give him just looking for that quick buck just looking yes, to make a quick quick, oh, quick yeah. bucks see even that opportunity we are very much uh, keen to provide to our community i am not you know see i tell you uh, a person who is holding the tokens would be rewarded based on his patience level to be very honest see i am not against on listing tokens but you know hampering the liquidity right moment of time which we holds for of the project and giving an exit point to our earlier investors see you have you have to understand that there are various web3 vcs there are various early you know community adopters who have invested on a very less prices okay for them a price which is going 
nearly four or five dollars per acknowledger token was a sweet spot to exit. So anything apart from that exit, whatever they get, it would be a window which is open for the earlier investors to make an exit. It will not going to, sure. you know, uh, benefit the longer terms holder. But certainly coming to that point, we won't be disappointing our community members when the right terms will come. And if we see the feasibility, we are much more happy to host on centralized exchanges as well. But believe me, uh, post hosting our, uh, you know, acknowledged token on MEXE, we were surprised to see that most of the traders were trading on PancakeSwap during those times. And in, in fact, today, I am keen to say that the most volume which we are seeing is on pancake swap during this beer times as well during this tough times as well so stated that we are smart guys we know how to you know uh, work the tokens uh, along and this is the time where you know we have to build the project rather than focusing on an early exit of the investors so this is a very blunt answer to the, those people who are you know keen to have an exchange in place but again stating that we cannot comment on the exchanges. Maybe you might see future listings pretty soon. That's what I can say. Perfect answer. Yeah, and it makes sense. And it makes total sense too. So yeah. the... Um, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, right. Just I want to add one more thing, John. Uh, here, uh, you know, I'll, I'll tell you, like uh, we understand we want our community to win. We want everyone who supported us to win with us. Okay, it's not sure. that we want to stop you. Like, you know, we will be happy if our holders, our supporters, they also, you know, win with us. So they need, like the community needs to understand this. We are not there. Uh, they need to like help us to reach that level. Talk about Akron Ledger to others. So this is what our sure. intention is. Okay. And sure. for this reason, every Wednesday, we keep the Twitter spaces open to the community. We come, we'll answer their question. So if community thinks that we are taking any wrong decision direction, they can directly ask us and tell us. So we are that and. Exactly. Thank and we have made a pledge that every Wednesday will come and will uh, answer the questions to the community directly for uh, till December. Like we have made that pledge. If any, all three of us will be there or anyone, if like, you know, we'll make sure that every, someone mm -hmm. from the founders is there to be on that Twitter spaces every Wednesday. So, yeah, that's great. Well, I mean, and what you guys are doing is creating a real community and finding the people that believe what you believe. So, I mean, that's, you're, you're creating a strong foundation. Um, you know, so you're not going to have that heavy sell pressure because the people that are in with you right now are in for the long haul, which is great. And I think that that's, you know, that's going to create a really, really, you know, a strong community and a strong project, you know, in the, in the years coming. So I think that's a, it's an amazing, I think it's a great strategy. So, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess, I don't know, I guess, I mean, that's kind of all the questions I really had. I mean, I don't know. I mean, if you guys want to maybe just, uh, if you want to tell me anything that you're, you know, bullish on what you're, what, what are you most excited about for the project? Um, you know, what's your, maybe your overall, your, your, your vision for Acno Ledger as a whole. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you want to end it with something that you guys are super bullish on. I'm, I'll leave it to you guys. Okay. So I will uh, just from my viewpoint, see everybody Yesh is bullish on a lot of things. So, uh, you know, I know we are falling short of time as well. Yes, as another appointment post that. But I just want to inform our community members that we are at a very early stage right moment of time. Any project or any product at least take three to five years to build and market's presence for the global levels, yes. right? And Web3 and blockchain itself is at very niche level right moment of time. And the major fun would be when we will be seeing the enterprises entering into the digital assets. Once these enterprises will enter into the digital assets, that moment of time, those enterprises would also want the digital assets to be discoverable across the globe. So believe me, we not even are even one to two percent of what we are thinking to achieve. Imagine wow. when we are halfway down, the level of confidence with those communities who are already with us would be on a peer crowd level. So that's how we want to, you know, inform our community that stayed intact and we are going to deliver our promises as and when we have done it in the past. Yes, over to you. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I want to say a few things. Uh, and, you know, what I'm excited about is uh, the most, you know, building Acuna Ledger and is that uh, we are getting the opportunity to be part of the future at a very early stage. And you guys along with us, are also part of that same journey. And 
so that's what is making me exciting and instead of you know I, as i told you before instead of like you know predicting the trend we want to create that trend and we want the community support us to that and spread the word around to people like talk about the acknowledger project as much as possible because that is the way you know you guys can help us for you it's not a uh, like a big deal but for us it will every one person who knows sure. about us will you know right now i think one thing which acknowledger lacks is awareness okay right yeah. like a lot of people they don't know about us because uh, you know there are very few uh, projects with you know 100 plus big ecosystem right and uh, uh, even with a solid foundation we'll be able to achieve those benchmarks and that is all dependent on the community and so the community support is really really needed and uh, i think we are on the right track we know what we are doing and uh, the community uh, should also understand it and we are ready to listen to the community so that is really really important and uh, yes. uh, so this is what you know uh, we have been trying and working explaining uh, everyone and whatever the decisions that we take we ensure that it's in the you know uh, benefit for the community in the long run not just like you know taking short term decision because we have been as a founders we have to take so many decisions every day like in which direction to go but ensure you know the first thing that we do is we prioritize the community and the investors that we already have uh, over anything else and that's how we create uh, the whole uh, journey and plan of action okay so that's our priority and yeah i think uh, and i'm really happy uh, to be part and getting this opportunity to build something really big and which can become really big it has the potential and the strength totally. and the, uh, i'm really blessed uh, especially the whole team is blessed to have a really good community and uh, strong believers even like i'll tell you on uh, even our uh, some of the early investors are yet to claim even a single token because they see they want to see how big acknowledger can become and sure. they are vcs they are you know they invest like heavily okay so it's not like you know they uh, but again they ha- they have some belief or they know what a lot uh, like others don't know right so they do know something right so this is they what see the vision for the future yeah 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 yeah, yes. yeah. so yeah i think sure. on this note uh, yeah i think this is what i want to convey and uh, thanks a lot john for inviting us lots of gratitude and love to you all your community members for supporting us I appreciate thank it thank you and uh, and uh, yes it's it's yeah. been great having you guys on here and if they, uh, like you said you know i think you know planting those seeds and growing organically getting people involved um you know, sorry my dog i got here <laughs> um, <laughs> but you know i think the uh you know basically you know growing organically planting those seeds and really getting people engaged is is key you know uh so i think what you guys are doing is great and i think you know um if there's anything that we can do here at cryptopia to support you guys help uh, share awareness you know bringing new people to you guys because i do i think you guys have a great platform you're you're tapping into a market that is we haven't even begun to open you know it's 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 such exactly. a big market that's coming for web3 and for you know gaming and metaverse and and everything nfts are i mean it's it's we, like i said we haven't even scratched the surface and i think you know so you guys are at the uh the forefront of of a, a very big industry and i think that like i said i think early investors and people that stick around for the long play uh will be very very thankful and i think what you guys have been are creating and working on is absolutely amazing so thank you for taking your time being on cryptopia allowing us to you know sharing your thoughts your vision uh it's it's been great having you guys here so i i really appreciate it yes i appreciate you. it Pleasure yes. thanks a lot and we are all going to make it yes, yes i totally okay. agree together yeah. together we are strong <laughs> so <laughs> so guys well thank you so much have a great day and uh cryptopians if you enjoyed this video do me a big favor hit that like and subscribe button turn on that bell notification and uh, we'll see you on the next video and Acknowledger, thank you and community. Have a great day everybody. Yeah.